guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry to my channel I hope that this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey and I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day today is day 307 yes 307 episode 307 if this is your very first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and please, please share it with your family and with your friends. What we're going to be talking to you today about is the word revenge. Revenge. When the Holy Spirit brought me this word, when it dropped in my spirit, I was like, what? Revenge? Ah, oh, man, yeah. You know, you get, think about it. Somebody do you something, you get hyped, like, yeah, I'm going to make him pay for what he did. I'm going to make her pay for what she did, you know. But if you know God, that is not God's way. The scripture that the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring to your attention today, it's in the book of Romans chapter 12. And the apostle says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. So, that is great news. You don't have to take the initiative to try to say you're going to have revenge on anyone or whatever it is that they have done to you. That is not the will of God. He tells you that it is mine, okay? I am going to take care of everything. You need not worry about that at all, okay? Bless those who curse you. Bless those who do you anything wrong. That is the way that God operates. That behavior, that in and of itself, will have them looking at you like, oh my God. Is this person okay? Because their expectation is for you to react the same way that they react. But that is not the reaction that God wants you to have. He wants you to stay as cool as a cucumber, sit back, relax, and let God handle his business. Because he's going to take care of what's his. And you belong to him. And he's going to make sure that he says it right here. I will repay. And if God says he's going to repay, trust and believe God will repay. Okay? I came across this quote, this quote, and it says, Don't waste your time on revenge. Those who hurt you will eventually face their own karma. Yes, they will. They will face their own karma, whoever it is hurt you. So, the golden nugget for today is sit back and let God take care of what needs to get taken care of. You don't have to worry about what anybody say. You don't have to worry about what anybody think. You don't have to worry about what anybody has done. They're going to eventually face their karma and they're going to eventually face God. Yes, they will. I need you to know that the word of God proves to be true. And God is a shield to all of those who come to him for protection. My question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread. <music>